Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are all having a great day. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a review for you guys. And I realized that it's been a little while since I've done a review. So I figured I would go ahead and jump on here and share a couple of my thoughts about a new eyeshadow palette that I got recently. And it is the Violet Voss Holy Grail eyeshadow palette. So just as a side note, I just figured I would mention, I just filmed this video and then I realized that the microphone was off the entire time. So here we are again, re-filming. How dumb can I be? But hey, it happens. You'd be surprised some of the things that happen with us trying to film these YouTube videos. So here we are re-filming this video. I really wanted to get this up for you guys and share my thoughts about this palette because it has been really popular and I figured it would be helpful to share with you whether or not it was worth it because it is a little bit pricey. So if this is your first time hanging out with me for a video, thank you so much for stopping by. Please make sure to subscribe on your way out to become part of my YouTube fam and also to be the first to know anytime that I upload a new video. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you would like to know my thoughts and opinions on this new eyeshadow palette then please keep watching all right so let's go ahead and get started with packaging which a lot of times tends to be the thing that we are suckers for I know I am so let's just start with that so this is what the palette looks like. The box that it comes in is pretty much this exact same kind of look to it um, as far as like the wording and just the whole way this looks. The front of the box looks the same way. It does come bubble wrapped inside of the box. And on the front it just says Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadows in like a shiny silver kind of writing. And then at the bottom it says Holy Grail. The actual um, packaging of the palette is like a matte black. Very similar to the Lorac Pro eyeshadow palettes, although I think the texture may be a little bit different because I don't feel like this one will like catch on to everything and get as dirty as my Lorac Pro eyeshadow palettes get from time to time, but it is a really nice sleek matte black packaging. And then when you open up the inside of it, you get a really nice big mirror on the inside. And you can see my leg <laughs> because it's burning up in here. So I've got my pants like rolled up because it's so hot. But um, you do get a big mirror on the inside. And then, of course, these are all of the eyeshadows. So you get 20 eyeshadows in this palette. And it is a mixture of matte, shimmer, and satin shades. And for the most part, pretty much all of these eyeshadows in here are warm toned eyeshadows. There aren't really any cool toned eyeshadows and I personally am not complaining about that because I am all about that warm tone life. So I'm absolutely loving all of the shadows, all of the shades. I think it's just a really beautiful palette and it actually reminds me a little bit of the Morphe 350 eyeshadow palette except that one does have some cool tone shades in it. Also too, I think the names are really, really cute on here. Like for instance, I'll tell you the colors that I use on my lid today. On my eyelid, I have the shade Toffee. In my crease, I have Transition, which is like, duh, such a good name for a transition shade, Transition. I also put Are You Kitten Me in the crease as well, which is just a little bit of a darker brown. And then in my outer B, I used Brownie Points and then I also used Teddy Bear. So that's just a few of the names. Really, really cute. And in my inner corner also too, I used the color Crystal right here. And this color is actually a satin shade. And you can see in my inner corner, it is still very pigmented. So I'm in love with this palette. I don't have, I mean, I could go on and on and on. I don't have anything negative to say about it. But let's go ahead and jump into actually... Before we jump into the swatches, let me mention to you the price because that's kind of important. So this palette is a little bit pricey. It retails for $52. And like I said, you do get 20 eyeshadows and it's a mixture of matte, shimmer, and satin shades. Now when I got this palette, I did use a coupon code because ain't nobody got time to be spending $52 on an eyeshadow palette especially if there is a coupon code available. So if you use the coupon code Holy Grail, which I will list for you in the description bar down below if you're interested in picking up this palette, you will get, I can't remember if it's 10 or 15% off. I feel like it's 10% off because 15% just feels like it's a little too generous. <laughs> I think it is 10% off that you get. And that kind of brings it down more into the range of like what I'm used to paying for a high-end eyeshadow palette because they're normally around like 49-ish 
dollars so with the 10 percent off coupon code holy grail it will bring the price down for you but without the coupon code just the retail price of it is 52 dollars now i know that that is a little bit pricey but again like i said you are getting 20 shades matte shimmer and satin so pretty much every shade that you need to create a full eyeshadow look and several eyeshadow looks at that. So I think it's well worth the money and the quality of the shadows I cannot say enough about. So between the quality and the number of the shadows that you get and also the shipping was really, really quick. I think, I mean, it's well worth the money. I would buy it again without question. Okay, so now that we've got the important part out of the way, the price, <laughs> let's go ahead and get into some swatches. swatches and as I mentioned in the beginning the shadows are very very pigmented the mattes are buttery the shimmery shades show up like pow in your face and this shade that I'm wearing on my lid as I mentioned earlier is the shade toffee and this color is just the color by itself I didn't add any fix plus I didn't add anything to enhance the color this is just what it looks like straight out of the pan so I could not imagine if I added Fix Plus, it would probably like blow my mind and I wouldn't even be able to handle it. But the shadows are just beautiful as you saw in the swatches and I just can't get enough of it. I mean, I just can't get enough of it. So I could go on and on and on and on about this eyeshadow palette. I am just so excited about it because like I said, I just recently picked it up and I just had a chance to use it today. So I'm still kind of like, you can probably tell, hopefully this review is not all over the place and it's actually helpful for you guys. Um, but you can probably tell that I'm still like really excited because I just finished using it and I'm still like blown away at how beautiful the colors looked and how easily it blended out and just how bomb this palette is. So. I hope that you guys enjoyed this review. Hopefully, again, like I said, it wasn't too all over the place. Hopefully, it was helpful and it gave you guys some really good information about this palette if you're interested in picking it up. If I forgot anything in my rambling excitement, I will leave that information for you down below in the description box. And I will also, again, leave that coupon code for you and a link to the palette as well. I did check it a couple of minutes ago and it was sold out, but I know they're constantly restocking. So I personally recommend just to follow them on social media, on Instagram, Twitter. Um, I'm not sure if they have a Facebook or not, but I do follow them on Instagram. And they always, you know, these brands, they do a great job of keeping people up to date on when palettes are available. And I will do my best to keep you guys up to date as well. So I will link my social media down below. I have Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Snapchat, 
and Facebook. So all of those are Fashionably Faye. I'll list them and link them down below so that you can follow me there as well. And I will try to keep you up to date on when this palette comes back in stock if you're interested in picking it up. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe if you have not already. I would really, really appreciate it. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube fam. And of course, it will keep you up to date anytime that I upload a new video. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if it was helpful, if you like reviews, and if there are any other products or palettes or anything that you would like for me to review, feel free to leave it down below in the comment section and I will definitely check it out. You guys know I love chatting with you guys down there. I try to respond to every single comment that is left on my channel or at least give it a thumbs up if it doesn't let me respond because some of the comments for some reason like if I try to reply it won't let me reply to you so if you see that I just gave you a thumbs up it's probably because for whatever reason YouTube won't let me reply to your comment but yeah if you guys have any comments or things that you want me to review leave them for me down below in the comment section and I don't think that I have anything else to say so thank you guys so much again for watching I really appreciate it I hope that you're having an amazing week don't interrupt me I hope that you're having an amazing week and I will see you very soon in my next video bye guys